Hi friends, uh, Biden Cat here, and welcome to what is probably going to be the penultimate episode of Let's Elden Ring, a comfortable playthrough for intelligence-based builds. And as I've been saying all along, the I guess the guiding principle for this playthrough is trying to make apparent a way that new players or players intimidated by the difficulty of from software games can get into Elden Ring and uh, see all the content of the game at least the main story and probably beat some optional challenging bosses along the way um, we've done that uh, using uh, magic uh, specifically sorcery uh, many uh, from software games there's a reputation for uh, intelligence or faith you know the two types of magic being a way to uh, get through the game uh, more easily and that's certainly the case in Elden Ring uh, sorcery is very powerful um, and it's not just powerful for spells it there are uh, lots of weapons that are very uh, very powerful um, that make it possible for you to actually do a lot of melee or physical attacks um, and this build is no exception we've relied heavily upon uh, melee weapons both in early mid well early mid late game the whole time that's just been part of the portfolio here uh, to look at kind of the way the uh, final shape of things, we got Vigor, 30, min 50, mine at 30, uh, 25, and 75. What would I change? Well, you know, mind still is probably too low. Uh, a couple of points in endurance wouldn't kill anything. And of course, Vigor, we want to get it as close to 60 as we can. So um, even though we're, we're in great shape, and this is the build as is could beat the final boss there's no question about that um, obviously obviously there's always more to do right um, so the first thing we want to do is take on uh, Millicent's uh, wrap up Millicent's quest and hopefully that's not going to take a super long time um, although we are going to have to do a very kind of outlandish uh, boss fight along the way so to, to get into that we're gonna we're gonna be fighting in a big pond of rot uh, believe it or not so let's put on our rot uh, resistant that is immunity talisman um, let's uh, what else should we do I think that might be it. I, I mean, at this point, the gold medallion is kind of a waste of time, in my opinion. Um, we're not going to be doing any chain attacks. Let's put on the physical damage prevention boost, okay? Um, and I think that's probably good enough. Um, I think well yeah we'll leave the twig as it is now this may may not work out or we may have to try this a few times um, I'm gonna put the boluses for curing rot here hopefully we're not gonna actually use a lot of these um, we can make some more might as well make them all we're gonna fight one of these big, uh, big uh, seed beasts. You know, the ulcerated tree spirits. Um, and we have to. the The goal is to do Millicent's quest, but fortunately, this is the only way to do it. You can run past this guy, but I don't like to. Um, and we're going to do what we always do here. And being honest, this 
we might fail a few times, um, which is perfectly fine. But we're going to try to get right up on them, roll through attacks, and uh, do charge attacks, actually. Who knows, maybe we'll even get... Um, Maybe we'll even get a stagger on him. Got one. Alright. So far, so good. <laughs> He's kind of got me stuck here. Yeah, this isn't going to happen. <laughs> I should have uh I should have probably cured the rot, but that's fine. You know. Here we go again. <laughs> Thanks for your patience. Hopefully this won't take too long. Don't forget this guy up here. And here we go again. Oh no. I'm wearing I'm Probably kill me again. <laughs> Yowza. This is a terrible fight. And I should have, uh, I guess I should have cured the rot. I don't know. There's an argument to be made that I should be focusing on uh, recovering stamina. With my uh, talismans instead of presenting preventing the physical damage. Uh, and I don't know. I can't really argue against that. The reality is we just don't have enough slots, right? I need more, need more slots.
Whoops. It's too close. Guys, <laughs> I don't want to cheese this. I don't think I need to unless I get lower on uh, boluses. But this really isn't going well. Dropped a spear. That's a rare drop. I did it. All right, how about that? So it looks like that uh, extra buff really helped out. <laughs> we don't need the seed anymore. Um, that's all just for bragging rights, I guess. Um, But yeah, we're not done. That was just a clear path to Millicent. Um, and we're going to do a different approach for her. Um, we're going to be doing a whole lot of uh, um, magic here. Night Comet. So we don't need skills at all. We're going to do everything we can to boost our magic output we're not gonna pop a rune because actually this is like an eva invasion which means our rune will be gone so everything is about maxing maxing our magic damage okay and it's, uh, it's our old friend Night Comet um, these enemies we might have a tough time regardless uh, we're going to be fighting all of Millicent's sisters. They're all very fast. At least one of them has a curved weapon that will bypass your shield. Um, The nice thing is, since this is an invasion, we're not going to lose our runes if we fail. We're not going to lose anything. Uh, so this is a nice, you know, just fail as many times as you want. Um, 
the reality is we have um, our sword is just too slow uh, these enemies just dodge it very easily um, you have a choice here you can betray Millicent or you can fight for her. and kind of a running theme uh, usually betraying people nets you better rewards um, <laughs> but you know that's 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 not how I do things so I'm not gonna be betraying Millicent I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here and hopefully we can kill these guys now you don't want to wait you want to run to where she is which is to the left and start picking off boy that went badly the curved sword enemy yeah that's not gonna work out <laughs> now Millicent can do waterfowl dance and if she just did that all the time she wouldn't even need your help but uh, she doesn't <laughs> but see that's okay we still have our runes we still have everything so let's just try that again That worked out. So at this point, um, that's uh, it's like an upgrade of talisman we already have which is the winged insignia uh, which uh, essentially uh, increases damage for successive attacks so if you have a fast weapon or even better you're dual wielding two fast weapons uh, you can really start cranking up the numbers with something like that Of course, she's talking about gallery. Um, Let me pass alone. The scarlet rot rides now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh, curse laden, untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. And gallery, if you remember, is the guy in the shack that originally. We're just gonna exit and come back. Uh, And he says a bunch of weird, kind of creepy stuff about her. We haven't really been uh, keeping in touch with him. Um, but he's got some kind of weird game wanting to see 
things happen with Millicent and it's it's just it's pretty unseemly really it's off-putting um, we're gonna go see him in a minute and now it's, she's dead and what's left behind is the needle that we brought her um, that needle is the only way uh, if you remember we I showed uh, y'all the way to the three fingers and how to get the uh, the frenzy flame ending well once you meet the three fi fingers you are locked into uh, that ending unless you take that needle to where you defeated we defeated the dragon lord and you can use it there to purify yourself that's the only way to get out of the frenzy frenzy flame ending once you've started down that road now unfortunately there's a I have to go back here one last time there's a lift we should have taken that we didn't but that's gonna go straight to millennia uh, the infamous super boss of the game and hopefully what I'm gonna show you is that beating her is very uh, feasible with this build and you don't have to be amazing um, but if you you know we, we uh, some people I, I guess have respect to beat her and you know I, I can see why that would be needed but our build should be just fine for millennia we'll see I'm kind of I guess I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself saying that um, I'm gonna drink our our physic this is a little deadly. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go all the way down. That's where we got the glove wart ball bearing and whatnot. Um, Let's not waste any time. Let's just go down there, okay? I've got like 120 runes on me. And as is a developing trend, we'll be tailoring our talismans to the fight. Uh, first, we'll come in here. There's really nothing great in here. These butterflies are mainly for making rot arrows. Um, they're also exceedingly rare. That lift goes somewhere. Is a shortcut to somewhere you don't care about going. Uh, it's so unimportant. I don't even feel like riding it up and riding it back down. So let's think about what we're going to do here. So I, I need to get rid of all these runes. Uh, first of all. Because uh, I don't want to waste a physic flask on the twigs. So I, I just want to go in there with nothing. So it looks like we need like 11.
Okay. Um, where to go from here? I'm going to say Vigor. Let's check the flasks. We are not going to need a lot of magic. We will need some magic. Um, And we won't be popping this till the second half of the fight. Um, we definitely don't need this. Going back to physical damage. Believe it or not, we're going to put the Great Shield on. It's the first time you've seen me use that. Um, I could put this on. But you know, I think I'd rather boost stamina or stamina recovery. going to use Comet. Now the whole thing with this is getting into a rhythm with trading aggro. Um, you do not want to get greedy. Get a hit, then let your partner get a hit, then get a hit. You see what I'm saying? There's two reasons for this. It's to divide the danger between you and the summon, yes. Um, but it's also um, you don't want to get stuck in an animation so you can't dodge. And you also don't want to run out of stamina. Uh, that's you want. You never want to be under half stamina, really, uh, if you can help it. So, you know, take your time. Be methodical. She'll get uh, frostbite put on her, which is you know great. So let's just see what happens here, okay? This first animation is going to screw us because uh, she's going to be close to us when we summon our mimic and that'll probably be the end of the fight but that's okay Heed my words. I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. And I have never known defeat. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna get that summon done. Oh, I don't have enough health.
<laughs> See? Just take your time. I've heard that uh, I've heard that doing the um, the critical attack on her isn't worth it. go so that's that's round one um, she's gonna do this big blow up thing we're gonna try to not get caught in it and then hit her with a bunch of comets we'll see how that goes it's actually hard to avoid We saw what we did there, you know. This is, don't, don't panic, you know. Let the mimic do it, then you do it. Um, you do want to keep the pressure on because she does heal when she hits. Uh, so it doesn't be good to hang back and just hide behind your shield. You've got to keep the pressure on. And again, I don't know if I'll pull this off, but I'm going to try to roll away and then throw some magic at her because she's, well, you'll see. Again, save some stamina, don't get too wild. So we got close there, you know. So let's try that again. The other thing is you really don't want to fight her at the edge. So once our partner gets in, we're going to kind of make our way to the middle.
That's the famous waterfowl dance. Which you really want a good shield for. Okay. See if we can do this. How are we doing on time? Oh yeah. <sighs> we'll get there. I need to remember to pop the flask. Um, Kind of off to a bad start here. Um, it's the waterfowl dance. In the end, what's really bad about this is the amount of damage that um, the, the tear is taking. Is this shit?
Alright, I'm gonna try popping my flask now. Got him. Not bad, huh? You know, with that build, even if you don't use the shield all the time, uh, which I mainly do for waterfowl dance, um, The mimic uses it all the time, right? So it's not just about what I use, you know, it's about keeping them alive too and having a lot of, you know, being able to block a lot of shots is keeps them alive, which keeps us alive, right? So, you know, part of the build is thinking about what's good for the mimic. <sighs> so... I think that's what we want there. And that is it for the Hallig tree. Um, she does have a rune we can unlock, so let's do that real quick. I think that's, where is that? I think it's the Divine Bridge. And this should be our last great rune. I don't know whether there'll be more in the DLC or not. We have a lot of space in our uh, inventory for more. Melania's Great Rune lets you recover health when you hit enemies. So if you do damage to an enemy and you're not at max health, you'll recover some back. Um, I haven't really used it much, mainly because it's so late in the game. And, um, you know, by, by this time it's mostly boss rushes. It's not about conserving flasks over a long period of time, right? So I just... The time hasn't been right, you know, maybe 
in a new game plus situation or the DLC, but it just it hasn't <laughs> it hasn't lined up for me. Um, so I think that means it's time for us to fight the last boss of Crumbling Pharaoh Azula, and to me, uh, this is to me this is the toughest. Uh, boss fight, uh, really, because um, the boss is just so unpredictable. Um, I just, yeah, <laughs> it's, I just, I never know what's going to happen when I do this. Sometimes I kill him right away. Sometimes it just seems like dumb mistake after dumb mistake. Um, how's our wondrous physic looking? 26,000 runes. Uh, eh. I guess this is kind of a pop them if you got them kind of situation. Oh, yeah, 150. All right. So I'm only keeping Radon, and so first of all, we can pop these two. Melania does drop a very cool. Um, katana and I mean her armor is cool but you don't need the you don't need the remembrance for that you can just buy it now we need 40 more so that's not going to be a lord's rune how about a hero's rune 5 what's that yeah that's pretty close looks like we need 15 more Try this one. Oh, whoops, that's way too much. <laughs> My goodness, Drew, come on. Um, so 55. We'll just go spin these on uh, smithing stones. say we want four of each of these we don't even have enough money to buy more though um, all right that's good enough this is another fight where it's just pointless to carry anything in and I'm not gonna do a rune art for this I just I don't like doing that um, I mean even though I mean, we've got 31 it's not like we're running out I just don't like um, Now we can try this a couple of different ways. Um, Night Comet is a viable option, but I, I, I want to do Sword first. don't actually want to let your um, health get too low because 
at halfway this happens and yeah, suddenly you have this ridiculous dodge tank um, and this is what comes down to luck in my opinion That went very well. But it often doesn't, as I was just saying. For that. So what can I say about that fight? It happened so fast I couldn't give advice. But it's stay close on the second phase because it's happy to hang back and throw stuff at you. You know, you want to get in there and dodge into them. And I guess I'd also say, like, if it's not working for you, um, you can always try the night combat. But the main thing I, I think really is just kill the first phase as soon as possible so that your mimic is around in the second phase. You know, don't let them get beaten up too much because you need them to run interference for phase two. This late date, this is only enough to level up once. But we'll probably pop some more stuff. Um, right now I'm probably gonna alternate mind and endurance. And I am gonna we're gonna do runes until we get there. Um A good time to do one of those. We need 50 more. Let's just do it again. Yeah, that's what these are for. So, as promised, we'll go to uh, endurance next. Let's we'll see if we can up our helmet yet. Nope, not yet. Um, I 
let's take a brief detour. Although, you know, let's take a moment to marvel at this, you know. This, this tree we've been looking at the whole time we have set on fire is so uh, incredible. And all these people that, that, you know, worship it and go on and on about it. You know, we, we burned it. It's so metal. Um, and this is the capital city, right? And as I warned you guys, if there was something you wanted to do here, you should have done it by now. This dragon here is um, where you used to be able to get the Bolt of Grand Sacks. It's the missable spear um, for the legendary trophies. So, you know. We're going to go back to the Mogwin Dynasty. And we're basically, we're going to go on a run to get a talisman. Um, no, we're not here to farm. I promise. We're not going to fight anything at all. We're just going to run. And hopefully nobody interferes with us. This is a pretty deadly place. I just... I want to get what I want to get and keep going. Killer birds are everywhere. But that's what we want. Why do we want that? Well, because it protects against holy and the end game is all about holy damage all about it let me get this seed even though we don't need it who knows maybe we'll want it maybe we'll want it um, for the DLC That bird behind us is the one you can, you know, farm by shooting. Remember that? Way back when. And I'd teleport out of here, but unfortunately, you can't. You can't bring up the map when something hostile is nearby. And everybody's hostile. So, we just gotta run. It's like, hey guys, remember me? Okay. We only have a few minutes left. We're gonna fight one more kind of minor boss. And then we'll be ready for the final rush uh, tomorrow night, okay? And that's, that will wrap things up for this playthrough of Elden Ring. Um, unless something goes really wrong. Knock, knock, knock. You can't ride the horse. Um... If you still want to go to the sewers for some reason, you can do some truly unpleasant platforming by jumping onto ledges, and you can also get a talisman that raises your HP. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's not too late if you decide you want the three fingers ending uh, to go down there. You can meet them if you want, um, but remember that's gonna lock you out of every other ending so you can't um, it's a lot of trouble to change your mind is all I'm saying uh, you definitely can um, as I've as I've said you can go fight uh, the dragon the dragon lord and that'll let you purify yourself but think about the logistics of that because a lot of the stuff I'm talking about is optional right I mean yes 
if you can go beat the Dragon Lord, which isn't an easy fight, and beat the Seed Beast in the Tub of Rot, which isn't an easy fight, and <laughs> beat Millicent's friends, which isn't an easy fight. You see where I'm going with that? It's not easy to roll back uh, that decision. So, you know, um, you might want to try meeting the rollback requirements first if you have any doubts. Because once you're committed, you're committed. So we're just taking the side door around. And I'm actually going to use this Halic Tree right now. Because this next enemy is going to do a lot of holy damage. Or is going to try to do a whole lot of holy damage. Hopefully we can uh, prevent that. That's right, it's this tool. Let's get him. I don't want to hear any more of this shit. What a moron. <laughs> Kill one and marry another. <laughs> By the time this is over, you get his armor, which is nice, except for the helmet, which is, I think, truly hideous. Um, that's a hammer. Interesting, with the uh, um, intelligent scaling. I've never messed with that, but that might be fun. Um, we don't quite have enough to level up. Things have just gotten to that point. I mean, we're going to, uh, regardless. Uh, 163, so let's start with a Newman rune. And we need 400. Gonna keep going with this. How much how are we doing on time? Let's just do the last one. Um, or the second to last one. We got we got we got time to do one more. And that'll just leave the final boss at the end and maybe some uh, final thoughts about prep for New Game Plus or um, Shadow of the Earth Tree, right? Okay. This can be a tough fight, mainly because of just uh, how hard how hard he hits. Air tree heal. Look, into the burning tree. And who do you suppose is guarding this one?
Uh, you can watch it yourself. I don't want. So aggressive. supposed to jump for that stomp attack but you know it's cool you know don't get to not get disturbed discouraged I also broke my own rule I mean remember we want to we want to trade aggro here Right now, it'd be nice to get frostbite on him, if that's possible. Nice. Oh man, it interrupted. Now this part is genuinely terrible. is terrible. Fortunately, he just doesn't... Oh, really? This guy. But that's it. Now that, of course, was Horalu, Nephli Lu's father. Remember her, the uh, the new Lord of Stormvale Castle. Yeah. So we can level up again. We'll do it two times. This is another case where we just want to be all out. Then we need 34,000 more. enough. Alright. So here we are. Ready to enter the uh, the earth tree and uh, 
in the final confrontation and reach the end of the game. I'm not going to talk too much right now about the strategies or how we're going to approach that because uh, we can save that for next time. And next time might be a very short episode. It just really depends on how successful I am in this fight. Uh, to me, parts of it are um, a lot easier than uh, some of the stuff we've done recently. Uh, Melania, for instance, I mean, there's a lot of ways that fight is just kind of brutal. And I feel like uh, this these fights are a lot more, I don't want to say fair, but predictable. You know, like if you know if you know what you have to do in certain situations, you can just do them and be okay. Uh, maybe you'll see what I mean. At any rate, um, you know, we've, we've, we're have we almost there, everybody. And I hope if you've been watching these because you want to get in Elden Ring, you've, you've been able to see how uh, a lot of this stuff is achievable uh, without a bunch of incredible skill. Uh, you just need some planning and patience and uh, you can get here to the final boss and tomorrow when uh, we come back we'll we'll see how we do okay um i want to want to try a, a different uh let's see we've got so many there we go i, I think fancy spin there we go so we'll see you tomorrow night everybody uh, and uh, remember Elden Ring is for everybody bye now <laughs>